Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing people, I'm back again with the next lab. So this is a account locking. So previously there is a check on the IP address. I mean that is related to the client uh, who is going to submit a request. Now here uh, it is the limitation or a check on the account. Okay. If a particular account is there and if we give wrong password for somewhere around four or five times the fifth time it will lock that account at least for one minute or two minutes it might be one hour or two hours sometimes it will be one day if you are aware uh, so few of the bank accounts uh, if we give wrong passwords it will uh, not let us uh, log in for uh, one day you know that right uh, let me access the lab i mean let me access this question first so this lab is vulnerable to username enumeration it uses account locking but this contains a logic flaw so everywhere there will be a logic and we need to understand the logic and we need to find out the particular flaw to solve the lab enumerate a valid username brute force this user's password then access their account page okay so that is what we need to do and here we did not get any default username or password to understand like previous labs we have we have been given a list just we already have those lists pinned here in the previous labs these these two links okay let me access this lab directly and hit on my account a b c d or oh, a c b d okay uh, some random string let me hit on login let me do this for uh, five times and let me let me see what is happening here invalid username or password Twice we have given this again this is the third time and now we are giving it for the fourth time again we got that again for the fifth time so as I said this means see lockout policy is that can be applied only the username that if it is present in the database there will be a lockout policy on that this is just a small thing let me put it to the burp and I will uh, directly take this to the intruder and I will show you what exactly I am doing. Okay, A, B, C, D and A, B, C, D again. Hit on login and obviously this should give us an invalid uh, username or password. Go to this and here HTTP history. So this is the request that we have submitted and just a second. Just confirm, double check, take this to the intruder. Okay and now so clear this so we need to understand which one is the username so for that we need to take two different payloads okay let me tell you how we can do that so this one is a this is the first payload add for this first payload we need to place the simple list that we already have okay go to the username so obviously this is the username copy and just hit on paste so each and every username will be submitted in this particular first uh, user's uh, payload position okay and the second payload position would be this but th not the complete string just hit on add twice that's all so once you add on twice so this particular thing will be our payload and we can place anything here but here we don't want to place anything so what will we do so uh, before that uh, let me take this attack type to the cluster bomb and uh, wait so this payload set the second payload set so we are taking this to we can take it a number or i would suggest null payloads so this null payloads will be generated five times so uh, let if we give any number here so that those many times it will be generated we can give 10 we can give 100 or 1100 or something like that you can give any number of times but we are going to give just five times this null payload is, will submit a null value which is nothing okay, which is just nothing in this particular place but this username will be submitted with a wrong password for five times if this username is valid then that particular username is going to be locked out where we are going to get a different response there you get my point right so this is the username enumeration what we are doing now we need to find out the exact username which we have in the server okay let me hit on start attack do we have anything else that we need to do uh, that's okay 
resource poll should we keep it to one by one i think we need to keep this to one by one uh, let it, let me see how many pilots find out ah uh, request find out five this is not a big number but uh, we will keep it to one by one okay maximum concurrent request one that's all nothing more than that and hit on start attack this find out five request will be sent and we will be getting that uh, response okay but here uh, i think i missed on something let me stop this discard uh, sorry uh, because uh, see everywhere 99% everywhere we will get this uh, thing but there will be some place where uh, you know uh, the message won't i mean that message will come okay we cannot uh, recognize that message by any of the status code or anything that will be a, again a manual check for us so the best thing what i can tell is uh, take this invalid username this and keep it in the grep okay there is this grep 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 match uh, sorry before that clear all these things yes uh, paste and yeah we don't want any full stop just like that because see uh, we already know that we are looking for the lockout message we are not looking for anything else we, we are not looking for a random string something like that okay uh, this is a string that will be checked okay just hit on start attack now and here see uh, here you can see the value null but here there is nothing submitted okay you, you got the point right so there will be nothing submitted only this will be submitted for the five times each and every username will be submitted for five times if we keep in this way so this is uh, just uh, something so let me come back once this complete once this is completed okay yeah i'm back again uh, but uh, there is a small mistake what i have done so uh, when we keep this uh, resource pool to one i mean the maximum concurrent request to one uh, there is a glitch in between because uh, see uh, there is a username let us take one username in that list and that username is submitted with the wrong password uh, for the first time then uh, it is going with with the other username so that username is not getting continue uh, that is not continuation okay there is no continuation of uh, submitting that first uh, username uh, five times so there should not be time delay between uh, submitting the same username uh, next time but in our attack configuration what we did we gave one so uh, only one request is getting submitted and we are getting the response so this is taking more than 60 seconds to uh, submit the same username again so as i said uh, it might be one minute 30 seconds two seconds it might be the lockout time might be uh, very less so that way we need to go with the 10 requests because uh, it will uh, see submitting 10 requests at a time in a sense all we have 100 usernames so in those 100 those 100 usernames everything will be submitted in 10 seconds that's all okay you got my point right so everything will be submitted in 10 seconds again freshly all those usernames will be again submitted in 10 seconds so there is only uh, 10 seconds delay between uh, the first round and the second round of, sub of submitting all these uh, usernames so uh, here now we can uh, get the uh, appropriate response so we need to keep it to the default uh, resource pool that is 10 and hit on start attack and let us see now uh, how it works and hopefully this should work because uh, it's been a long time I even I uh, saw this lab okay let me uh, enlarge this let's see if this works okay or else we will have to check uh, any other way okay uh, this is just an enumeration with a username here oh here you can see a n we did not get any uh, response i mean invalid username nothing like that let us go here and check you have made too many incorrect login attempts please try again in one minute so as i said so uh, there should not be time delay between submitting the uh, same username for five times okay much time delay time delay in a sense much time delay but in the previous uh, attack what we have given 
one request at a time so there is a lot of time delay uh, it took almost like uh, five to six minutes okay so this should not be the case so this is our username we have confirmed that this is our username just take it to the uh, where is this intruder again okay so take it to the intruder and so let me close this off we don't need this anymore so and is our uh, username okay uh, just hit on clear and now our target is to brute force this password uh, if we give wrong password uh, it will uh, log the username okay we cannot uh, uh, log in again but still we, we will check once again okay let me change the attack okay snip sniper payloads and here this is a simple list let me go to the passwords list this is the password list control c and paste it here so here i think we need to give the uh, resource poll because it should be submitted one by one uh, options let us add uh, this string one string that is yes paste it here enter so this uh, we, there will be a flag here and i'll explain you what exactly i'm doing okay hit on start attack let us see what happens if there is a username and this user for this username i have, I have given these many passwords let's say if there is any uh, right password somewhere will it log in that's a that's again a question mark so for that question mark only we are running this particular attack okay uh, let's see uh, what is this we did not get uh, for these three things go here the response okay invalid username or password so we should either not get invalid username or password and we should also not get this uh, one uh, minute one also okay let's go here so this is also invalid username or password okay, let's check there is something where we saw so this one freedom uh, let us see what message we have here seriously man we don't have any message here so i think this is the password of our username okay let me take this to the repeater and we will wait for one minute because obviously this is this did not log in because there is a block for one minute okay even the right password is given this did not log in because there is a block here but let us wait for one minute and we will submit it uh, we will do one thing we will take it to directly to the browser only and then we will submit there itself okay uh, where is this here a n and password pasted so we will wait for one minute and yeah then we will submit this uh, request so this is how uh, you know we can find out again again this is a this is just a check because uh, we did not get any other uh, things other than this uh, let me see we, if we get any other okay everywhere we got uh, this kind of thing okay let me put a filter here oh, yeah so these three requests ha requests and response have uh, invalid uh, password username or password but this one does not have anything and it just reloaded the login page okay that's the reason i am suspecting this as the uh, right password for this an username did one minute finish hopefully i think it should be finished by this time or else we will wait for 10 more seconds yeah let me log in now yo we have logged in so this is the right username and password so this is how you can uh, you know enumerate the username even though the account lockout policy is implemented Thank you and congratulations you have solved the lab and have a great day we'll be back with the next lab okay bye